Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kajan Schofield. If you're new, welcome. For this video, as you can see from the title or the thumbnail, today I'm going to be telling you how I got 5K subscribers with using my iPhone 6 Plus. So for today's video, I'm going to be telling you how I got the subscribers with using my iPhone 6 Plus. I'm going to be telling you some apps you can use, the right music you can use. And I'm also going to be talking about how you can gain subscribers in general just by having an iPhone or a camera the things that you need to do to grow your channel. Okay, so I feel like this video was important to make because I remember when I was starting out, I just didn't know nothing about YouTube. It wasn't something that I was gonna do to try to make a career out of, nothing like that. I wanted to talk about mental health and it took me years. I'm finally able to actually come out and talk about mental health on my channel. So it took me a while, so why I did that, I just decided to just do my talents, things that I'm good at, like hair, makeup, beauty, and fashion, and all that stuff. So um, when I first started out, I didn't have nobody to ask. I remember it was one girl that I knew that um, was doing YouTube before me, and I asked her, like, can she give me some advice? And the only thing she said was, okay, girl. And never heard anything else. <laughs> and I remember how that made me feel, so... I'm just here to help people. Um, I feel like giving, the more you give, the more information you the give, the more blessings you will receive. So I'm not that type of person, I'm not a selfish person at all. So that's why it's important for me to get this video out for so people can grow their channel. Okay, so step number one is consistency. You want to make sure that you're consistent on YouTube because it shows that it shows your followers and subscribers that you are um dedicated and determined and that you're passionate about what you do and it, sh and it gives people things to watch so people will forget about you if you wait like a month to upload so you don't want that to happen so you want to be consistent so consistency is really the key you want to make sure that you upload at least like three times a week if you can upload every day that'd be great I wish I can upload every day sometimes it'd be hard for me to upload three times a week but I try to do the best I can. But if I don't upload three times a week, I make sure I upload at least once a week. Step number two is patience. Make sure that you're being patient. Do not go and look at your subscribe account over and over because it will drive you insane. I know all about this. Constantly re-uploading your subscribe account, looking at your views and all that stuff, it will drive you insane. Do not worry about it. Just let it come organically and it will come. If you worry about it, you will scratch yourself out. And another thing with being patient with this iPhone 6 Plus is that sometimes you will run out of storage. So just be patient with that because that was one of the struggles that I had with using this camera. With using the camera on my um, phone is that I was running out of storage and I was only able to make videos that was like four minutes long and that used to scratch me out so bad. So just be patient and work with what you got and be thankful for what you got because if you do that and be thankful for what you got and just wait on the Lord to bless you with something more then you're gonna get your blessing so that's what I did and I'm so grateful and thankful thankful for my camera okay so step number three is interact with your subscribers when you interact with your subscribers it make you feel like a family it make you feel like um, they know you and I just love to interact with my subscribers because it makes me feel good when people come in on my um videos and I see that they're watching and they like my content so just show them that you appreciate them because I make sure that I try to respond to everybody so people will see that you're responding to your subscribers and they'll see that you're interacting with people that they'll want to um, subscribe to. So step number four is be yourself. Just be chill y'all. If you are a hyper person then be that hyper person. If you're a chill person like me I'm a chill person. I don't try to get on here and be nothing else but myself. So just show your personality. Don't try to be nothing else but yourself. Just be yourself and you will win people over. The right people will come to your channel. Don't get discouraged about if you lose numbers. Um, because that person just wasn't meant to be on your channel. So, okay, bye. <laughs> just be happy about that number that you gained. If that's one person that's unsubscribed to your channel, just look at it like, okay, it's a thousand more going to come forget that so just be yourself and the right people will come to your channel it don't matter if you're an introvert because I am I'm one and people be asking questions about that but it don't matter about that just be yourself and the right people will come so I know one of my cousins was interested in being a youtuber but she was saying she don't have any friends 
that don't mean nothing. If you don't have any friends, like I don't have that many friends, but I got 5,000 subscribers and I only got like two friends. So that means nothing. It don't matter if you're an introvert and that you're shy. The perfect people that's meant for you will subscribe to your channel because they feel like they can relate to you. Like some people can't relate to everybody. I don't like to watch people that's very hyper because that's not my personality. So somebody that's laid back will come to use. But sometimes I do like to watch people like that. It just depends on the person actually. Actually, if they're not being too extra. But you know, just be yourself and the right person will come to Okay, you. number five. Make sure that you tell people or mention in your videos to subscribe to your channel. When you're recording in your intro or at the end of your video, make sure that you put subscribe. You can just put it all throughout the video, really, because that's going to make them remember to subscribe to your channel. Like, okay, this person wants me to subscribe. And if you're reminding them to subscribe, then most likely they're going to subscribe. So make sure that you mention in your videos to subscribe to your channel. Okay, so tip number six is make sure that you have good lighting. Um, you do not have to go out and buy expensive lighting. When I first started out, I bought a kit on Amazon. And I don't know if I remember, but if I remember, I will link it in the description box. But I didn't use the lights. I still use the stands that the lights are on. But I didn't use the lights that was in there because they wasn't LED, um, which is natural lighting. And you can get those from Walmart. And those are the lights that I use today. I use those lights. I don't have any expensive equipment for lights so use what you can on a budget do what you gotta do girl or guys who are watching do what you gotta do until you're able to come up so i'm still using walmart lights and they work just as good to me like i still got good lighting so i think they were like nine dollars for like three lights so yeah and i remember when i first started i used um my roommate lamp I used it and I said it like on my um, dresser and yeah, I did some everything coming up when I first started from YouTube. I uh, had the selfie stick hanging up on my um, my dirty clothes things, y'all. I'm going to get into that, the selfie stick, why I used that later on in the video. Yeah, so make sure that you have good lighting and you can also use natural lighting from your window. So just like set the camera in front of your window and let the light come in front of you so natural lighting is good number seven is good content when people see that you are trying and you're putting in hard work into your videos then they will come back to your channel and make sure that you are staying with the trends because that's very important on youtube but also be yourself don't try to be too trendy if that's not what you do if you just want to be organic and be a natural and not a follower that's fine but tip number eight, find something that your channel is based on. I know a lot of people do food reviews, um, unboxing. I do beauty, mental health, um, lifestyle. Just make sure you find your niche. Okay, so tip number nine is very important. The thumbnail. The thumbnail is what get people attention. So make sure that your thumbnail is on point. Make sure that your thumbnail is something that, that will catch your subscribers' attention and make them click on your video. You can have the nicest content ever and people won't even know because of your thumbnail. If you have a thumbnail that don't even excite people, they ain't going to click on it. And they're going to be like... And then you're missing views because they don't know that your content is that fire because of your thumbnail is not fire so make sure that your thumbnail is fire a few apps that i use for my thumbnail so i use photo grid and i use canva so those are the two apps that i use for my thumbnails so make sure that your thumbnails are fire because that makes a difference you might not think you do but it makes a difference okay number 10 is important too i know y'all saying that i'm saying that all of them is important but they are they are very essential we your so channel. number 10 is make sure that you take your time and edit your description box. Um, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Make sure you do that because um, your description box pick up things that you can have your video trending on Google and stuff like that. It makes your video more searchable. And also with the description box, make sure you edit your tags. Make sure you edit your tags. Before you edit your tags, make sure that your tags are related to your videos because you don't want to tag something and it's not related to your video and then people might dislike it because this ain't what you're talking about because you're deceiving them. That ain't really what you're talking about. So 
make sure that when you tag your videos it's related to your videos the things that i do to get the um right tags i would like to do the search bar on youtube and the things that come up when i search it i will make sure i tag that it is something on google that you can search called um keyword tools and you can search that and it'll bring like some keywords that people are um, searching for in Google and it'll make sure that your video is being shown when people search your video when people search videos so tip number 11 is going to be the apps that I use I use iMovie on my iPhone to edit I, I still use iMovie to today even though I got a camera I still use iMovie so I use iMovie on my phone to edit <clears throat> and I use documents to download music and I go to this little site on documents called save from net and I'll show you how to do that on screen recording I'll show you how I do that and I'll go to YouTube and I'll copy the link off of YouTube and I will save the link on there and I will download it and then I will send the music from documents over to iMovie and that's how I get music tip number 12 is make sure that your music is not copyrighted it's a website well not a website it's a page on YouTube called non copyrighted sounds and that's what I use so I make sure I use their music off of non-copyrighted sounds because I don't have time to be getting copyright strikes and when you copyright somebody's music, you ain't getting no money. You can't monetize your videos. So even though you might be at a point that you can't monetize your videos, you'll be able to monetize them later. So you don't need to get somebody else's music and you're not able to um, make money off of their video. So make sure that you search non-copyrighted music. And that's the music that you need to play on your videos. Okay, so number 13, the tip is the selfie stick. Um, so, I don't know if I got it because I don't use it no more. But you know, the look, the part on the selfie stick that you hold your phone up with, that's what I used on my tripod. And I used it on there and I was able to record like that. I had the phone. Um, I'm going to put a video on here describing how I had it. But yeah, so I used that part on the selfie stick. I didn't use the, the long part of the selfie stick. I just got the part off that, that was attached. That was attaching the phone to the um, selfie stick. So I used that part and I put it on my tripod. So this video is going to be ways that you can do this on a budget, honey. So I got that um, from like Dollar General for like $7. I think. I'm not really sure how much I paid for that. And I got my... Um, tripod from the Goodwill for like six dollars six dollars you cannot beat that and I'm still using it right now so I still use that with my expensive camera so if you can go out to the Goodwill and find your tripod for like six dollars go do that because they work just as good so that's it for this video I hope that you learned something new I hope that this really really did help you because I pray that I can help somebody because when I was doing it nobody really want to help me I was asking people, they really didn't want to help me, so. And I know how that made me feel. Like, that's irritating to me. Like, sis, we all can win. What did you hold the back for? I don't mind about um, giving people advice on how to get many subscribers because I know it was a point in time when I was trying. And I'm still a small YouTuber, but I know some things that I need to work on, like being more consistent. Yeah, I know I do. But, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Look, tip them, tip something. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video.